lot easier because these people will boo him. Um, he's, quite he's confident. Been boo, he's been booed for eleven so years. It'll make it'll make him quite. Con- it'll make him. It'll make it'll take that nervous energy right out when they start booing him for real. And uh, I it think helping the eleven past years he was there. Don't worry, the NFC Championship games and NFC, and got to Super Bowl. I think it helped a lot, especially for lose the organization. But um, like <laughs> I said, the organization. They never, they you figured he'd been booed for yeah, what, exactly. three or four NFC Championship games, yeah, so exactly. it should be so, fine. So anyway, but I mean, I think we'll win twenty four to twenty. And it'll be a good game. I you think. Don't even believe no, it I believe yourself. it. I really believe it. Twenty four twenty. I think Chris Cooley will have about a couple of touchdowns. Clint Portis might have a touchdown. I can't really play it off because I don't know what they're going to do right now with the Ryan Terrain situation. But um, I think I think Santana will, will will have a good game as well. He'll probably have a hundred yards. Come on, Ron. Tell the yeah, truth. Yeah, tell the truth. Speak, Ron. 20, tell the truth. Twenty three twenty. I see the Eagles pulling out in the fourth quarter. Wow, forward. it's a risky, man. <laughs> it's, hey, I mean, hey, that's, look, that's, why, that's, that's why I appreciate Ron on this break. show. Let's because go Ron break. No. speaks no, with his mind and his heart. Let him speak. Let him speak. I just got to be honest. Look, our, our defense, our secondary cannot stop their wide receivers. Our old line, we're starting Stephon Hire at left tackle. Trent might be back by then. Hopefully. And we're starting some guy at left guard. Yeah, who's a bum. That's the truth. He is a bum. So Philly's going to blitz. When the Rams blitz, we have problems with it. McNabb, I think McNabb's going to have a great game, but if everybody else around him doesn't have a great game, Santana's it's a waste. Be Santana, but that's, that's okay. So you, your predictions are what? You have what? 23-20 Eagles. Me personally, I think it's going to be a sloppy game, and it's going to be not, not a big scoring game. I got, unfortunately, I got the Eagles winning price 17-10. I don't think it's going to be that much scoring. Vic, I think he's going to have a good game, a decent game. I don't think he's going to get out. I think the big play that's really going to help the Eagles is going to be on special teams because is Graham Gano going to stay the punter? No, we might. Uh, we have Hunter Smith and uh, try it out. And 45 years old. Hunter Smith is better than Bidwell. I don't know why you can cut him from Bidwell anyway. We will see because um, <laughs> even the Rams bought the punt last week. But, but uh, we go, we go. I mean, I got to be in a, um, be in a low-scoring game. I'm going with the Eagles. I mean, well, you know what? Matter of fact, I'm going to pick the upset for the week. I'll go with the skins. 13-10. Gano kicks a 45-yard field goal. They call a timeout, and he comes back and kicks another field goal and wins the game. So I'm going to go with the skins, even though I don't know why. I'm going to help you out over there, Wally. But we're about to hop into a commercial break. When we get back, we're talking more NFL action. We're talking Cowboys. We're talking Steelers. We're talking Bears, Packers. We're talking everybody 3-0 and who ain't 3-0. and they mama 3 and 0, people 0 and 3, people 1 1 and 1 in fantasy. Well, they ain't in there for action, but we're going to get on them too. <laughs> we're going to hop into that when we get back from that commercial break. I'm Ed Smart, father of a child who is abducted. I'm John Walsh. Like Ed, I also know the terror of having a child who was kidnapped. But now we have wonderful technology to aid in this battle. It's called the Amber Alert. It's an early notification system to the public when every second counts. Amber Alert is a partnership. We want to thank you, the public, broadcasters, transportation, and law enforcement. Amber Alert really works. Welcome back to the Urban Sports Scene, man. We about to get into that NFL action. We had some, some big games over the weekend. First, man, we going to start off with the Cowboys, man. They poured it out. I mean, it really wasn't even a close game. The Texans, I mean, did they even show up? I mean, this wasn't no this wasn't no skins defense they was playing, man. You know, it wasn't no timeouts and missed field goals, none of that going on. I mean, the Cowboys came through. They were backs against the wall. Jerry Jones told them before the game, he put some lines down on the table, told the boys, let's go. You either going to cross this line or not. So, I mean, Wade Phillips was in that zone. He crossed the line, and they got it done. So, I mean, what, well, what I can say is that, you know, I mean, nice shot on the Redskins or whatever, but I'm happy for Roy Williams. I'm, I've always been a fan of Roy Williams, um, the Texas wide receiver. Um, he played well. He had two touchdowns in that game. I, I, like I said, I think the, if the Cowboys, if Tony Romo showed any effort to give Roy Williams the ball, you would see a lot of, you would see him make a lot of plays for the Cowboys team. I mean, <clears throat> like you to allude to what you said, Wally, Roy Williams showed up. He dominated this past Sunday. He had two touchdowns. Um, we sh- we saw that, you know, with Roy playing the way he is and Des Bryant, and then you have Miles Austin as your number one. Red, I mean, the Cowboys' deep offense can be, can be potent. quite, it can be potent. yeah, it can be quite potent. It's something to look out for. Um, I think it's one game. Um, the Cowboys still have plenty of holes, the things that need to be fixed. Um, Red Jesus' play calling was better this game. <laughs> um, 
Man, it's you know. just it's just a game to get him over that hump. You know, yeah. it's like that. You know, and it's a it's a great, fe- it's a great yeah. feeling for them going into the yeah. going into the bye week. It's, and let's be real, it is against the Houston Texans uh, defense, and we saw what the Redskins defense offense did to them. Which I want well. extra credit. I mean, y'all still no, lost, being, no, 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 no. I'm just being honest. I'm saying like it's their defense. I mean, they've been torched. <laughs> their defense has been torched. Mario Williams, they get at Romo like he did against um, Mario man. Williams is a beast. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, Super yeah, Mario, yeah. you're a beast, boy. But in uh, other big games, you know, Bishop Eddie Long is that his name? Eddie Long. Bishop Eddie Long. And along, <laughs> Atlanta long. Falcons. He said just up a prayer for the Falcons and the Falcons. Uh, Falcons bend over New Orleans and uh, kick the field goal. Ray so is not going ahead. But, so um, little brother Ray, I know he was happy with that one though. But I mean, Atlanta big win for Atlanta over New Orleans. Yeah, I mean, called. I know Ray, I mean, Ray called it. Week. So mm-hmm. I mean, that's a big win for him. I mean, I think they're in first place with that win. I mean, Matt Ryan showed up. He got him some touchdown. Roddy White got out. Turner came out of nowhere. He had like 30 carries for like a, a buck and some I mean, change. So that's just me. New Orleans has been getting lucky. This, I mean, I mean, they've been since the beginning of the season. They've been getting very lucky. Uh, the Niners should have beat them. Uh, they should have lost the Vikings for real. Brett Favre showed half a have ha- showed half a talent that he was last year that he had last year. So um, big up to Atlanta. They, I mean, like it seems like to me, Matt Ryan looks like he turned the corner. Looks like he's about to be that quarterback they really wanted. I mean, it's year three for him. I mean, it's it's, yeah. it's that it's that year for a quarterback, but. I mean, Ron, I mean, Atlanta won. I mean, anything about that? Um, I was very impressed with their defense. Um, they have a young, fast defense, a young secondary. Uh, you know, Breeze was able to be in for, be in for some big plays to more, but besides that, they held everybody else in check. Pierre Thomas, uh, Colston, and Shafi, they were all held in check. So Atlanta's defense showed me that they're ready to play big, especially on the road. Well, um, another big win last night was um, in Chicago. We talked about the Bears a little bit earlier in um, Place Your Bet, but – the Bears beating the Packers, Mason Crosby, even though he came through for me for the Packers, but, you know, the Bears, they beat the <laughs> – yeah, that's for you, Junior. I ain't forgot. The Bears beat the Packers. I mean – Who is Junior? You know who Junior is. I don't know. I ain't no Junior. Who you looking at? <laughs> Say it. Who's your daddy? <laughs> but, nah, the Bears, they beat the Packers. The big win for Mike March and his offense and Lovey Smith, the defense. I mean, it's a big win for him. Yeah, we have somebody from, on Twitter, uh, Brad from Texas. He said, you know – Devin Hester's a key cog for that for for the Bears to turn out this way. Um, it's the I mean the Bears would show what I thought they would show. I thought they beat the uh, beat the Packers. Um, this just shows that they're not they're not pretenders. They're contenders mm-hmm. for real. And what's that dude, Devin? Uh, well, you you did you get him Devin a, a, a robot shoe or Devin? Robot shoe. Woo! He shoe. got out, didn't he? <laughs> Man, he was sitting all game, boy. Woo! Um, actually, he's on my team. He's he, <laughs> actually I tried to come last week to pick up Derek Mason, so. But um, other than NFL news, though, I mean, it was a couple disappointing teams this week, though. I mean, San Diego, I mean, we still wait for them to even show up. Yeah, that's mine. I mean, I thought um, Tampa Bay was going to put a little bit more of a fight with um, Pittsburgh. But, I mean, any other disappointing teams you guys saw? Uh, I just had to agree with the Chargers. Um, there's no way a team with all that talent can lose to an well, NFC West team. not all that. Because well, you, you're missing, missing, you're missing your still star wide receiver. They're playing they're, it. They're, then Marcus Neal, did he suit up? No, no, no. no. You're right. No, no. I'll give you yeah, that. I mean, I mean, but, but they're playing the NFC yeah, West. Yeah, they're playing the NFC West team. I mean, they're playing the a, 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 a a Seattle West. Seahawks. That's the D-League of the NFL. It is. It's the D-League. <laughs> but, but San Diego does this every year. Oh, yeah, I totally agree. But it's, 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 a, it's a tribute to North Turner and his great coaching philosophy. Well, I think they – well, they do it yes. every year. But this season, it's kind of like, okay, you're really losing it really mediocre teams. Yeah. I mean, very mediocre teams. So, it's really no excuse for them really losing. But, I mean, we talk about bad teams. So, I mean, somebody must have been playing good. I mean, who impressed you guys this weekend? Uh, me, uh, me personally, I, I I was impressed, obviously, with Sam Bradford. I mean, I could be honest with you. I mean, I, I thought he'd be a good uh, rookie. Uh, obviously, I thought Redson would put a lot of pressure on him, but I was impressed with him. I thought he, he he showed me a lot. I was impressed with Michael Vick. Michael Vick showed that he can pass from the pocket. No, I mean, not just uh, because I'm an Eagles fan, one, and for two, he showed that he can he was accurate and he could pass from the pocket. He didn't. He wasn't um, at the first sign of pressure. Um, running, getting outside of the pocket, and trying to make plays with his leg. That impressed me. I, I'm, I'm going to say Ryan Fitzpatrick in the Buffalo's offense. Okay. Um, they put up 30 points against New England. Um, C.J. Spiller had a kick return, also had uh, a receiving touchdown. Um, to put up th- that many points against New England, nobody expected, everybody expected a blowout. But they, they, did, they did good things. I mean, so good that they cut Trent Edwards the next day. Who's but now in Jacksonville. Yeah, but Ryan Ryan Fitzpatrick really surprised me. A player who really impressed me, even though they team lost, 
is Peyton Hillis. Man, that Bama looked like Jerome Harrison from late last season. He looked Jerome like John Riggins. Peyton Hillis looked like John Riggins against the Ravens, man. I don't know what was up. I mean, that Bama was just trucking like everybody, but that's who impressed me this weekend. It's Peyton Hillis, though, man. Did you pick him up, Will? No, I didn't pick him up. Uh, could help you one. But um, we got some other big games this week, though. A real big game, Baltimore-Pittsburgh is a big game as usual. I mean, you know, Baltimore, they're going to be hype. Ray Lewis going to bring the boys. Big Ben, he going to be, you know, I heard he got some groupies coming up from Georgia. So to watch the game, Charlie Bass.